In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom tab and ribbon in Microsoft Word. Let's get started. So here I am in Microsoft Word, and I'm working on this document. And you know what? There are some tools in Microsoft Word that I would like to use as I'm writing this document. And I know they're there. They are part of Microsoft Word. It's just that I have to dig to get to them. So for example, here on the Home tab, if I go to the Font group, there's some great options there. But if I click this Launch button, I get even more options. So many different options, even some advanced options here. So if I use one of these options a lot, it sure would be nice to be able to pull it out of obscurity and put it on my own custom tab and ribbon. Let's look at how you can do this. The first thing we need to do is get into the ribbon customization options. There are a couple of different ways to do this, but one of the easiest is just to right click on the ribbon and choose customize the ribbon. Now I get a pop-up and you'll see that here at the left, customize ribbon is highlighted. And here I have a list of popular commands in Microsoft Word. But you know what? Most of these popular commands are probably somewhere on the ribbon already. Because they are so popular, chances are they're on the home tab or one of these other tabs. So I'm going to switch from popular commands to all commands. So this is going to give me everything all of the commands that are in Microsoft Word. And then here at the right, I can see my tabs, my Home tab, Insert tab, Draw tab, etc. If I want to create a custom tab, all I have to do is go down here and choose New Tab. I'll click, and now I get that new tab. Now before I do much with this new tab, I need to decide where I want it to show up here above the ribbon. Do I want it to be somewhere in the middle? Do I want it to be one of the first tabs or one of the last tabs? In my case, I want it to be the very last tab. So to do that, I just select my new custom tab, and then I'll use these arrow keys to move it down so that it's the very last tab in the list. Now notice, in addition to giving me a new tab, it also gave me a new group. And neither of these has a name. So I'm going to click on the tab, click Rename, and I'll call this Favorite Tools. I'll click OK. And that may not be the perfect name for this because these are favorite hidden tools, but that's OK. And then I'll click here on New Group, and I want to set up a custom group. Just like here on the Home tab, we have a font group and a paragraph group and a styles group. My custom tab and ribbon that I'm creating can also have custom group names. So I'm going to call this one by clicking on it and clicking Rename. I'm going to call this Text Options. I click OK. And then I'll set up a new group by clicking the New Group button. I'll click on that new group and click Rename. And I'll call this second group Preparing for Printing. Click OK. And I could continue adding more and more groups. But at this point, these are the only groups I need. I'll click the first one, Text Options. And then here at the left, I'm going to search through all of my commands. And I'm going to look for a command called Hidden. So I select it, and then I'll click Add. So now the Hidden tool is added to my text options. And maybe another command or tool that I need and use a lot is, let's say, All Caps. There it is. I click Add, and then let's add one more. How about Double Strike Through? I don't know why, but for some reason, I guess I use Double Strike Through a lot. So there it is. I click Add, and now I can move on to my second custom group, Preparing for Printing. And I'm going to go down here to Grid Lines, View Grid Lines, and I'll click that as a Preparing for Printing tool. Maybe I'll add this as well, and then one more. There's a tool called Shrink One Page that could be helpful when printing. And actually, I'm going to also include Shrink Selection. OK, so with these custom commands or tools added to my custom tab and ribbon, I'm going to click OK. And look what happens. Immediately, I get a new tab here at the top of Microsoft Word. When I click on it, I get my two groups that has these custom tools that maybe I use a lot, even though most people maybe don't. I can now very easily click and drag to highlight text and then click Hidden to make that text hidden. It still exists, it's just hidden from view. I could make this one disappear as well. I could change this to All Caps. 
I could browse down to the following paragraph, highlight it, and then use double strike through to eliminate this completely unnecessary paragraph. It's not fully eliminated, it just has double strike through. And same with these other tools here in preparing for printing. I could try to shrink one page. Looks like it worked. I could turn on grid lines or turn them off. So this new Favorite Tools custom tab and ribbon with custom groups and commands on them is really going to be very helpful and handy for me as I use Microsoft Word. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is by becoming a channel member. Just look for the join button below this video and you can join me and the rest of the Technology for Teachers and Students community. You'll get some special perks including access to a monthly behind the scenes members only podcast where you can learn more about this channel, more about me, and also technology trends and more. You can also support me by clicking the thanks button below the video or through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see more information about these options in the description below the video.